Over the years, Disney Channel original programming has changed with the times, but there are still classic shows that can never be duplicated. The channel's first hit original show was the famous Jet Jackson. The edgy action-adventure series was a part of the channel's 1997 rebranding and an effort to entertain families and compete with Nickelodeon. Lee Thompson Young played the title character in the famous Jet Jackson. The show was about a superstar who wanted to live a normal teenage life. While the show featured the actor as a wisecracking, highly intelligent teen turned secret agent, Lee Young's own secrets would later surface in his untimely death. Childhood fame isn't something that comes easy, as he was a child star on the pace to become a household name, but would fall short to reaching those heights by ending his own life. Here's what happened to the famous Jet Jackson. Lee Thompson Young was born in Columbia, South Carolina on February 1st, 1984. For Young, his affinity towards acting found him early. At the age of 10, he starred in his first play called A Night of Stars and Dreams. In this theatrical production, Young portrayed civil rights icon Martin Luther King Jr. It was after this play that Young was bitten by the acting bug. His mother, Velma Love, described him as a natural-born entertainer. He would kind of seek out wherever he could get an audience, and he would perform. He would tell stories, he would do poetry, he would do speeches. The next thing he asked was if he could have some business cards made. And I said, what will they say? And he said, Lee Thompson Young, actor, poems, stories, and speeches. And I had the cards made, and he would just hand them out to whomever, wherever. We'd go to church, at school, wherever. Young persuaded his mother to move them to New York City in 1996 when he was 12. His first commercial was one for McDonald's. Young's mother remembers that time. I remember being in a meeting when I got the phone call about the Big Mac and I jumped up. I was like, oh my God, this is it, this is it. Young's family was very supportive of his acting career. I mean, he's my little brother accomplishing his goals in the time frame he set. And me being the planner, I was just like, I taught him that. After being discovered in a Robitussin commercial by screenwriter Fakaswa Hyman, he knew that Young would be the perfect lead actor for a series he was working on with the Disney Channel. I didn't know who he was, but I was like, oh my God, he's absolutely perfect. He was just what I had in mind for Jet. The famous Jet Jackson debuted on October 25th, 1998. The show was filmed in Ontario, Canada and followed the title character who is a young TV action hero and spy in a fictional show within a show called The Silverstone. While Jet is intelligent, charming, fearless, and calculated, his heart yearns for a normal life. He successfully manages to get his show moved from Hollywood to his hometown of Wilst, North Carolina. There, the teen lives with his father, Sheriff Wood Jackson, and his great-grandmother, Miss Coretta. Jet keeps up with his mother by way of video calls on his computer, though she later joins him by the third season. Jet faces many challenges as he balances life as a high schooler and life as a TV star. He's often accompanied by his best friend, JB, his crush Kayla, and Cubby, a special effects wizard. Jet's character was a pioneer in broadening the appeal of young black men on the screen. While the famous Jet Jackson was Disney's flagship original series, it was also the first show to feature a majority African-American cast on the channel. Disney executives felt that diversity was missing, so inclusion became mandatory. In the late 90s, Jet Jackson competed with other African-American casts on sitcoms like Keaton and Nakal and My Cousin Skeeter but there was no other action-adventure shows for kids on television in that day. Young made an appearance in television shows like The Guardian and The Proud Family, and his resume would continue to grow with his work on Smallville, Scrubs, Akilah and the Bee, and The Hills Have Eyes Too. It seemed like Young was enjoying all the success an actor at his level should. However, even though Young was making waves as an actor in Hollywood, very few would know that Young was suffering deeply inside. His mother stated, in his late teenage years, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and I noticed some periods of sadness, and that was stabilized quickly. Some of a person's inner life you really don't know. Experts say that Young's condition was not uncommon. Bipolar disorder affects approximately 2.3 million Americans. That's nearly almost 1% of the population. Although bipolar disorder usually begins in adolescence or early adulthood, it could sometimes show signs of early onset in childhood or later at age 40 or 50. He would sometimes call me and say that he was feeling a little sad again. It was always a quick recovery. 
And I too feel that he was always concerned about us. He was always protective of us. On August 19th, 2013, Young didn't show up to film an episode of Rizzoli and Isles. He was later found dead inside his Los Angeles apartment when police were called to do a welfare check. Young was just 29 years old and his death was ruled a suicide by a self-inflicted gunshot wound. After we knew that Lee was found dead in his apartment from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, we of course were stunned. I guess that's the question that everyone would ask. And we really don't know those answers and there's really no way to know. It is reported that he was taking medication for his bipolar disorder. Though it is not clear that he was taking medication at the time of his death. News of Young's passing swept the entertainment world. TNT, the last channel he worked for, released a statement saying in part, We are beyond heartbroken at the loss of this sweet, gentle, good-hearted, intelligent man. He was truly a member of our family. Lee will be cherished and remembered by all who knew and loved him, both on and off the screen, for his positive energy, infectious smile, and soulful grace. Disney also expressed condolences with a statement weighing in on the death of Young, who helped change the landscape of their brand. Nothing any of us can say will adequately express our sadness over Lee's untimely passing. Our thoughts are with his loved ones and the many fans of his work. To continue Young's legacy, his family established a nonprofit named in his honor. The Lee Thompson Young Foundation focuses on erasing the stigma associated with mental illness, advancing holistic health treatments, and improving the lives of those impacted. Young's final major role will come as Barry Frost on the TNT drama Brazilian Isles for four seasons. The Barry Frost character was similar to Young's first major role as he played a computer-savvy homicide detective. I do feel like having someone like Lee impacted by it and it being in the news in that sort, it sort of kind of makes it okay. People know that Lee wasn't the only one and for them to see everything he accomplished in 29 years, it's more than some people accomplished in their whole lives. He was able to do that with a mental illness and yes, it ended tragically, but through that we're inspired. Young was laid to rest in South Carolina after his funeral in Los Angeles. He is recognized in Colombia as one of the brightest stars that left the world too soon.